it's always a great time to visit the library. Right now, there are extra fun reasons to stop by the Cherry Valley Library. Heather and Blaine are here to tell us about everything that's happening. I got a long list to talk about here. You guys have a lot of fun stuff. This Saturday, there's golfing. So much golfing. <laughs> tell me about this. So much golfing. So this is going to be our 11th annual mini golf in the library yeah. and silent auction. So we're taking over the library. Normally, you come and get books. This weekend, you're gonna golf for free Ooh. through the library stack. So we're gonna set up a nine hole golf course and you're gonna putt through the library. And that's like so much fun. 11 so years fun. is also a very long time. A so very really long time, down yes. fun And is fun. <laughs> yes, and it's gonna be new this year. We have four brand new holes that okay. we have made. I actually have to get back and finish painting them. <laughs> but um, we have four brand new holes. They're all gonna be different book themes or movie themes, cool. so it's gonna be a lot of fun. That's fun. Uh, so. This is happening Saturday and you said it's free. Do we need to sign up for like a time slot or just show up? If you want to sign up for a tea time, you can. Okay. Um, then you are guaranteed a spot. Otherwise, if you just come, we'll get you in. You might have to wait a little bit, sure. but you'll definitely be able to go. And it's Saturday and Sunday. Saturday yeah. and Sunday. Cool. So tell me about the silent auction that's going to be happening. So this year we have, last count, I believe 80 plus baskets. Wow. Uh, including our bluey basket yeah. here. And our, I think, what is this one called? Pasta Licious. It's all different pizza places <laughs> yeah, throughout good. the area. Um, I'll take that. It's just two of 80. Uh, auction runs Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Runs until 4 p.m. on Sunday. Auction closes. You don't need to be present to win. Okay. Um, and then all of the proceeds are going to benefit our summer reading program this year. Fun. And it's a perfect time to do this because, I mean, today's gross out. It's going to be, <laughs> but we'll just imagine, and I think also it is going to be fine. Um, this weekend's weather's going to be fine. It'll be great. But like, it's still not golf outside weather, it's golf in the library yeah. weather. Absolutely. <laughs> we, our theme this week is winter family fun. So, okay. like, this is literally perfection for winter family fun, indoor mini golfing. Plus, you do it at the library, not at your house, so you don't have to worry about anybody <laughs> breaking anything. Correct. <laughs> Hopefully. You guys are prepped. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've done this before 10 times or so. Uh, so the summer reading program, it's never too early to start thinking about this. Um, it says here it takes place starting May 30th. So tell us a little bit about what's different this year. Uh, so our summer reading program, like you said, starts May 30th is when you can start registering and logging your minutes on our Beanstack app. And we will have it for different age groups. So ranging from young children, children, teens, and all the way through adults. I'm really excited to announce that this year's theme is Read Tastic Park. And okay. It's be all about dinosaurs. <laughs> Fun. Yeah. So do you get like bonus points for reading about dinosaurs or is it just like a fun idea if you come in there? Yes, oh, there will that. be a button <laughs> if you read. We are cool. all about the buttons. <laughs> Uh, so fun. there will be one if you read a specific dinosaur book, yes. Oh, cool. i got to think about my favorite dinosaur book. There's oh, be more. You can always from. ask a librarian, too, and they can point you in the right direction. I bet there's a section. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I imagine. You also have, so going back to spring, in between winter and summer, um, a spring scavenger hunt coming up uh, starts St. Patrick's Day. Tell me about that. So this year is our second annual spring scavenger hunt. You come to the library and you will get your form to fill out and it will have clues to various locations throughout downtown Cherry Valley. Oh. And at the various businesses, they'll have cute little character cutouts for some of our favorite children's books. And once you find them all, you fill out your sheet and you return it to the library where you are entered to win a prize drawing for gift cards to different downtown businesses. And do you just like walk into the chair of the library and say you want to be a part of it? Or does it yeah. cost anything to sign up no. for this free? Okay, people are missing out <laughs> if they are not going to the library. Yes. <laughs> You're, right? You're preaching to the choir. Is that not like the theme of this last five minutes? Like if you're missing out, not only are you missing out on fun if you're not going to the library, but you're missing out on winning stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all free. You don't need to have a library card to golf. You don't need to have a library card to do the scavenger hunt. It, it's all free. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so just show up to get involved. Yeah. But I'm mm -hmm. sure there's more info on your website and mm -hmm. stuff too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's always more info on the website. That's that's what websites are for. Oh, look at how cute that little graphic is too. I love that golf ball. <laughs> Make sure you join them this weekend. Follow them all over social media and get involved with the spring scavenger hunt and get ready for the summer reading program too. Thank you ladies so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Coming up next on GDS, it's a funnel cake filled game day, which clearly is fun for the whole family too. Don't go anywhere.